Okay, we can start. Very good afternoon, sir, to all of you, and uh, very warm welcome to Dr. Bhagat sir, Professor Dr. Bhagat sir. Uh, here I am uh, present to uh, um, uh, formal uh, introduction of Dr. Bhag uh, Dr. Professor Dr. Bhagat sir. Uh, he is my teacher also, so I am uh, worried about myself also. Uh, mm -hmm. As I see his uh, biodata, it's so huge that uh, when we uh, I am going to explain here. So the time will uh, very much uh, taking. So I'm trying to short as uh, as I possible. Uh, Dr. Bhagat sir having the degree of BA geography, BA, MA, PhD. Uh, also sir have done several uh, certificate courses uh, sponsored by ISRO, IIRS, UGC, and SPPO. So uh, uh, that's the uh, experience, uh, educational experience that we have uh, getting here. To, uh, as a knowledgeable person with us, uh, sir, have uh, lecturer experience uh, from 2003, and now sir professor uh, uh, in last year. Uh, also, sir, have uh, as we go to research experience, so sir, have uh, uh, guided six MPhil uh, student and uh, one uh, uh, also the, uh, sir have guided six PhD student uh, out of one have uh, already awarded. Uh, as we see the project uh, experience, uh, so sir, I have uh, four major and minor uh, research projects have completed, funded by uh, UGC and uh, Savitri Bhai Pulipun University. Sir, also active in work like dissertation and Aviskar. Some of them have get awarded from uh, various uh, institutes and uh, university also. Uh, as we see the publication, it's a very huge uh, publication uh, and I am trying to uh, uh, inform us, uh, some of them that sir have uh, published three books in uh, also sir have uh, published several research papers in peer review journal, reputed journal, uh, and sir have uh, present uh, various uh, uh, paper in various uh, uh, national and international conferences and similar also. Uh, sir have already working as a editor in a more than four research journal and also sir have uh, work as a co-editor and uh, 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 ref, uh, ref, uh, as a uh, referee board in international uh, research paper uh, uh, so uh, i'm not taking much of time of dr bhagat sir uh, professor dr bhagat sir and i'm uh, request you to give your uh, knowledgeable information, uh, uh, share with your uh, knowledgeable information with us. Thank you, sir. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Vijay. Uh, are you are you getting me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. As I am the alumni of this department, the Department of Geography, SP College Pune. Um, I was attended this college uh, and this department as a PG student, as a research student. I have been completed my PG, yes, uh, MA, and uh, PhD. PhD, uh, Dr. Pramit Saptar, she was my guide. So uh, this is a pleasure to be here with you. Then I am very thankful to principal of the college, head of the department professor, Dr. Pra Sunil Gaikot, sir. He was my teacher. Then my friend, Manoj Kumar Devne, Professor Manoj Kumar Devne. Then Dr. Ganesh Dhaule, as a coordinator of this PhD course. Again, I'm thankful to all of you. Uh, some of you definitely uh, in contact of me at uh, different places, different um, platforms. As I have been informed you, the title of the topic was multi-criteria analysis of environmental issues. Uh, I think I should have to share my uh, screen here. Please wait for a few minutes only. A few seconds, not, not required. Uh, tab. 
then uh, one minute left. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Visible. Screen is visible. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, full screen, are you? I got. Are you getting a full screen? No, sir. No, sir. Let screen it as one. 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 One minute. One minute. Uh, stop sharing. Then entire. Your screen. entire. Screen. Yes. Yes. The entire screen. Share. Yes. Then now. Yes, yes sir. Now yes, it's yes. visible. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, which topic? I tell. I was given to my friend Devnesha. Uh, that was multi-criteria analysis of environmental issues. See, as we are the geographer, we are always uh, looking to the, any any problem means uh, environmental problem, including with the sense of geography. And recently, means right from uh, five decades. Computer technology enhanced, demonstration technology was emerged with very tremendous sources. GIS providing lots of for us. With enhancing these technologies, this spatial analysis are very, very, you know, we, we can say, enhanced uh, came, came in front of us. Then we can say this kind of analysis should should title as geospatial analysis, and geospatial analysis is now a well known uh, concept. Because of that, I elaborated my this title with multi criteria geospatial analysis of environmental issues. Just say. As we have large, means long, wide history of culturing us, cultured human, maybe we can somebody say around about five to ten thousand years, we invented, means human invented, the one stick. That is known as film to robotic technology in this era. We have very, very long history with white nature. Our population is increasing with tremendous rate. Because of that, we have a number of environmental problems, including degradation of land water, forest. When we say land, then the concept is very wide. Land includes all things, including water and for surface water and forest and roads, whatever, whatever observed on the earth surface, on the land, that includes the land. We are facing a number of problems, including water scarcity, you know, some areas and same time floods in different areas. Atmospheric pollution is very uh, well known problem. Everybody, as a geographer, we know. Because of this kind of situation, availability of resources now reducing, the quality of resources also reducing because of all all such kind of situation, conflict arises. Many research papers, reports, 
are reporting this this report is very very well one old one this report says means 200 million people are affect, uh, have been affected by disaster in that thickets so this number is now increasing day by day united nations says 250 million people are directly affected by land degradation some reports is like this one billion billion people are still do not have access to adequate adequate drinking water and basic sanitation access to basic sanitation facilities also. in this pandemic situation we gone through such kind of uh, absence such kind of situation then one report is is giving the information like this the report says more than 70% population means demand of food will increase by 2050 so this kind of reports this kind of information alarming us about the analysis about the thinking about the modification of our approaches this situation is suitable for increasing degradation of deserted lands including cellular uh, uh, cellular water logging some one report i have been read 7% of productive land productive soil is now affected by saltation cellulization salt affected soils we can say so because of that agriculture productivity is in decreasing It is reduced now, and which is product uh, productive land, is a good good soils. They uh, these soils have more pressure. So because of that, there are number of topic for analysis, the geographic analysis. Somebody says geospatial analysis, like desertification assessment, crop irrigation mon monitoring, crop yield monitoring. aquaculture zoning reserve air management ground water analysis the list will be more and more and more and more this this these are only samples you can you can extend this list there are number of topics for uh, analysis i think as you phd student phd candidate everybody has own your work and uh, maybe how uh, you have progressed too much <clears throat> then as our our topic is devoted to multi criteria analysis in multi criteria analysis multi criteria analysis decision making process is uh, very important very important for example as a topic i seen uh, my our friend uh, professor <coughs> uh, Uh, which covered in the last session i think that is the related to the zonation of ground water when we we are analyzing uh, this data level of ground water quality of ground water then we must have to consider that we have to come to the decision that which area have potential of ground water which area has uh, less potential like this one that zonation so when we we are analyzing the geographical information with the perspective of problem solution for environmental issues then decision is very important we need to come to the decision what is decision decision is decision is the conclusion in this decision is the conclusion resolution reach after consideration after some result after some analysis like this one you know what is the consideration when we analyzing the data then we come to the result then we are considering something but for this analysis we need to have some consideration 
what kind of consideration in geography uh, for example we learned the weber theory weber theory industrial location theory in that situation uh, analysis we are analyzing that which place is suitable for is uh, establishment of sugar cane industry coal industry like this one according to availability of raw material transportation costing and like this one. so there are different kind of information we are considering for the decision where we are going to establish this sugar industry whatever industry is there so when we are considering something that consideration is related to the criterions some factors some Uh, uh, parameters, not only the parameters, but the spatial disparity. But a uh, spatial disparity, disparity. And the uh, next uh, some slides will definitely give idea about that. What kind of disparity we are expected here? Just see what are the criteria. Why we we are thinking that? Which kind of criteria uh, would be considered for the decision? at this situation we have to think more and more which parameters are related to this this kind of situation for example this this is the tree then tree have roots in the soil the soil soil have a different kind of parameters and uh, required understanding for a, for example texture soil contents then uh, contents have different kind kinds different types for example um organic matter then npk like this one number of kind number of things we need to consider for this decision which kind of kind of tree uh, will be sustained there water holding capacity so many then when we come to sur up to surface of the earth then we need to consider per atmospheric parameters like temperature humidity winds so many then when we are going to plant this vegetation or tree then we need to consider is there road settlement market supplies including water some nutrients like inputs which requires for this uh, plantation and growing so when we are we going to decide which plant which kind of agriculture which kind of plantation is uh, we expected that we need to consider different parameters related to the earth surface and then another image is there which is uh, i have taken this uh, both images from the internet so that they are available on the uh, uh, network so just see there is water there is um, some soil layer when we we are going to analyze how water flow how much erosion will be there how much soil will be there which uh, how much sand will be flow uh, which degradation will be happen on the uh, hill slopes means mountain slope how much water will be gained by melting uh, by melting the sun uh, snow so such kind of things when we are going to analyze then we will be come to the decision that how and what so any kind of any kind of situation have a situation has a different kind of different kind of information gs people are gs people are um, making this different kind of information in the form of layers thematic layers so they are taking some themes and preparing the layers based at maps so these are the criteria which can be considered as a uh, as a <clears throat> parameter in the process of judgment or decision formation then uh, i would like to show one map which is here you see this is forest based um, sorry the classified uh, classified forest map best one in the world 
what is the NDVI? NDVI is that the ratio of rate, uh, infrared and rate in this combination. When you classified this, then we got it. Then we got it. And we found that there are different type of forest is there as a density. According to density, some land is land is uh, uh, rocky with very thorny grasses, and some places have comparatively dense forest. Not we can't say dense because uh, within this area, comparatively, it is dense to very dense. So th this is only single single criteria. This very single criteria, but gives the idea about distribution of forest which is based which is prepared based on the <clears throat> which is prepared based on the remote sensing data report remote sensing bands there are two bands one infrared band and another is red band so as a remote sensing data there are two layers as a remote sensing data there are two layers when we and we compare together and we found out this uh, this map we prepared this map somebody says there are two criteria there are two criteria because there are two bands so there are two criteria according to data so combined together in the form of index and we found out this or prepared this ndvi and then classified so when multiple criteria we put together we can get the the environmental information information related to our environmental issues like land degradation and so on <clears throat> then similarly similarly another map is that which show the soil wetness index this is uh, I, I haven't given uh, this uh, the formulas here this is based on the uh, this is also based on the index this is wetness index when we calculated the best in the uh, wetness index based on the data uh, remote sensing data then we found out the distribution of this uh, available soil moisture uh, in this area so so when we put together the information in the different forms then we uh, we are getting the spatial information, spatial distribution of uh, any parameter, any surface parameter, any uh, parameter you require for the analysis. So these are two, two maps. Uh, we consider here, there are two, just two parameters, two criteria. One, distribution of forest, and another is distribution of soil wetness. Somebody says soil moisture. When we see this map, we are getting the distribution of forest then some places showing the barren lands some places showing the some forest or thorny forest like this one just see somebody uh, some NGO is thinking about that or some people are thinking about that some uh, a forestation the planting something some plants some trees then there are much more area is available to plan. But when we reach to the, uh, or visit to the land, this area, we found, we can see there is a much area without forest, but this area doesn't have potential for the plantation. When we decided that the, some, um, uh, what we can say, plantation, uh, should be conducted there then we, we must have to know about which land is suitable for the plantation because um, rocky land is not suitable for plantation how the um, planted planted trees will be sustained for this purpose when we when we combine two maps one this forest maps, another is soil wetness map, then we can get this kind of map. Two criteria are uh, put together for the 
analysis of this kind of analysis, then we found out that potential areas for forestation. For example, where land having good forest, this land did not uh, require plantation. But the barren land required plantation. But all this land is not suitable for plantation. Where soil is there, deep soil is available, soil moisture is there, some nutrients are available, then and then plantation is possible. So with this consideration, we can find out that some area have a good forest, some area have a good potential for forestation, a forestation, and some areas have limitation potential for a forestation. When we put together this information, put together these two criteria, information about two criteria, then this kind of analysis, this kind of information coming up. So multi-criteria analysis would give more and more information, more and more analysis, more and more results for decision making. Because of that, this kind of analysis is uh, more helpful for environmental uh, sol solution for environmental issues. Then another, so after this um, forestation, uh, forestation, what kind of possibilities are there that can be expressed here? Another one, um, one exercise I would like to put before you. Uh, this is also area which is nearby us. There is Bandhagar Dam and some small dams also available there. Yes, we have been conducted one exercise for this area to delineation of for delineation of water bodies from this uh, from this area for, for purpose of preparation the map. For this kind of analysis, we have prepared we have prepared uh, soil wetness wetness map because a uh, wetness map is giving the identity or is giving the information about the soil moisture, means water bodies, and just classified that. And then we we got these these water bodies here simply. But what happened? There is much area is classified in the uh, as the water bodies. Why? The question arises here, why? Then I just found out that this, these are the ridges. There are the shadows along the ridges. And as we most of us know that water bodies are equally represented in the images uh, with water as the black body. They are appearing somewhere. So, because of that, uh, using this index, it is not possible to delineate this auto bodies from the this map. The same or equal values are there. Then, just I seen that we seen that there another way uh, to go delineate these kind of things. So we uh, we have just classified in Dubai map. And we found that because just see, uh, NDVI representing the vegetation and water bodies uh, not showing vegetation, they are the black bodies. But when we analyze this one, this kind of map is appear. Then, so both criteria, by simply single criteria, when used for this kind of analysis, then this is not suitably analyzed or giving the results then we combine together, these two maps combined together and uh, form this or generated this map. Even after this analysis, this is not finally reached the proper delineation of water bodies. These major water body, the secondary water bodies, and these are, this is the primary river. But this, this uh, area is also classified with the water bodies. It was the question how it can be solved. Multi-criteria analysis would help you 
different criteria will help you when we uh, put together different criteria then we will get the such kind of solutions yes we thought that thinking process is very important here we thought that water bodies always always at the bottom of that that area at the lowland in the lowlands and shadows are associated with the ridges hills mountains so these are the steep slopes when we combine this resultant map with the slope map then ultimately these these area which was classified with the water bodies they are delimited from the this original water body and the result arises results arises then we found that this is the water body this is secondary water body this is the Prabhara river and some places when this area may image was taken at the same places we found small small shallow uh, shallow water on the surface of the that area that land so multi criteria analysis will help you to solve the problems of making information making maps like this one we have asked uh, one place to uh, one uh, question to one candidate what is what are the application of gis the candidates say map making making map making is the primary application of gis this is very primary application of gis when we use gis for the analysis of analysis of this kind of geographic information then then this uh, uh, what we say this will be optimal use of gis or geographical information system how this uh, uh, this this is the double criteria triple criteria three criteria four criteria like this one how we will be uh, perform this kind of multi criteria analysis when we have two criteria only then just process this boolean analysis the boolean analysis will help you to combine together overlay overlay the uh, these criteria make combinations using the different indices as we uh, discuss in dvi ratio analysis like this one sometimes you can use overlays multi criteria can be analysis can be performed using combinations different kind of combinations like fcc fcc also the multi criteria because there are three three layers we are three bands we are combining together as discussed before that is indices there are number of indices we can um, can help us to put together different uh, different layers as uh, um, there are many 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 indices are there then overlays weighted overlays and that is advanced one analytic analytical hierarchy process there that is ash one exercise i would like to show you which is prepared my friend that is suyesh kumar from or gohal and our enjoy power because dr suresh kumar is work under the guidance of enjoy power and they have, they have an analyzed the uh, ground to pollution and aquifers industry this is cuts from uh, these authors it is already published and available this paper is available uh, in the net a uh, network so these are the these these are the layers 1 2 3 4 like this one they prepared the layers after the analysis means uh, chemical analysis of that ground water i would like to show you after combination of the different layers we can found out the 
different type of pollution. For example, see here. See here, three, there are three heavy metals are there. There are three heavy metals. Three layers, as we discussed here, these are three layers. They combine using the overlay technique and you see there are different pockets they have been identified they processed these uh, laboratory analysis as well as this kind of geospatial analysis and then they found out different kind of pockets in the ankulation uh, the industry also. Just see here and here. So this is very important uh, technique. This is geospatial technique for the analysis. This is all simply they use the overlay technique only. They combine together these three, uh, three maps and found out this one. Then, multi criteria. Up to this discussion, we explained the Boolean type of analysis, indices types of analysis, overlay analysis, the principal component like this one, they, they are not discussed here. You can uh, go for that. What is the multi criteria? Multi criteria is that. Different criterions are considered in the process of decision making. Multiple, more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As like NDVI, we can consider only two, two maps in the combination that, uh, like, uh, uh, we as we uh, discussed the FCC. We can put together three layers and they are only overlays with equal weightage. Just see another another technique is we found here, uh, found now, Lamis, many scholars are using this technique, which is established by or performed by, founded by, given by, you, know, you can say. Analytical hypothetical process, H. Thomas Setti, uh, Sate, so Sate, Thomas Sate, analyze the multiple criteria using this technique, analytical hierarchy process. What is the difference between simple overlays and this one? Analytical hierarchy process. Of the decision making, this is multi criteria process. This is multi criteria process of analysis gives gives a facility of consideration by considering the horizontal and vertical disparity of criteria. Somebody says factors in in the process of decision. In the process of decision making, I am repeating it. What is the analytical hierarchy process? This process gives the facility of the consideration of your horizontal and vertical disparity of criteria in the decision making process. What is this? What is this? Then, not only it gives the facility of consideration or considering the disparity, but the disparity is came into the practice, coming into the practice of formation with the freedom of analyst, which criteria have more weightage more contribution of this formation that will be the facility in the analytical hierarchy process which is 
<coughs> basically given or um, <coughs> this technique is um, by Thomas Sartre. Uh, it, it, it is in 1960. What is horizontal disparity? Disparity within the layer. Disparity within the layer. For example, these are the steep slopes and these are the slope is decreasing like this one uh, to the reverse. So here is a less slope, here is a more slope. This is disparity. Another, another layer shows uh, this showing the disparity like this one. This is water bodies. This is agricultural land. This is fallow land like this one. Disparity within the layer. And what is horizontal or vertical? Just see, just see. Disparity within the layers, or we can say between the layers. Disparity between the layers. In the formation of some decision. For example, we are we are analyzing the land suitability for agriculture. There are different parameters, different layers, different criteria is deciding the suitable suitability of land to the agriculture for the agriculture. To see, but not necessarily all the parameters, all the criteria working with the same weightage. At this time, this kind of difference can be considered in the multiple on this um, analytical hierarchy process. Just come to the this point. One exercise I will I would like to. Uh, explain with you. This is this is the area like the gas basin. There are uh, this is also the uh, this is also uh, one report uh, of the PhD thesis uh, of my student. Uh, this is the gas basin, and these are the these are the micro basins uh, delimited using different technique. Uh, from this basin. Just see, just see. What are, what are the objective of this study? Objective of, of this study, just see one organization uh, is thinking to decide what for water cell management in this area. But, but they have, they have problem. Which watershed should be considered for this development process? Because we have many watersheds, and we are going to this, uh, select only one or two watersheds only. Which water watershed is suitable, or which watershed need to be selected with more priorities? So this is priority analysis of watershed for watershed management using the HP technique. We just gone through. For this purpose, we have selected different criteria. For example, linear aspect, stream waters, stream length, evacuation ratio, then aerial aspect like this one, basin area, basin length, basin perimeter. Uh, perimeter, drainage density, stream frequency, frequency, form factor, circulatory ratio, land uh, <coughs> elongation ratio, compactness coefficient, drainage texture, or texture ratio, drainage intensity. So there are there are many uh, many parameters are there. Then aerial aspects like the relief ratio record death ratio in physiographic aspect like geology, soils, then the, this is another one that is rate for climatic aspect. Then this process was performed for, for this analysis. We will go through step by step. Just see here. 
Uh, one minute. <coughs> When we decided these are the parameters, these are the parameters. And as we discussed, AHP method gives us the facility to decide which parameter is more influencing and which are the less. It should be comparison. It should be comparison. It means that one of them has a maximum weightage and one of them is last one. So how we will decide the which one have a more weightage, more influence, influence in the process, and which one is the last one? There are many, many uh, methods are in practice to decide this one. Uh, Ranking of parameters, ranking of parameter is well known or well established method for this purpose. SATE has been used nine, nine levels, nine levels only, nine ranks only. But we, we extended this up to 19 parameters, 19 criteria. Why this one and why this nine, uh, 19 or why this 10 or why the 14? Why, how we decide this one? Somebody, somebody is using the expert's opinion, especially in, especially in research or analysis of social sciences. Um, it belongs to the human geography. We are performing such kind of expert opinions, like somebody analyzing the um, suitable sites for tourism, ecotourism. So people are asking the question to the experts, means multiple persons, learned persons. Which criteria is more important? Somebody may ask to the uh, to the visitors which is important, which uh, which factor you giving more weightage or more preference. Here. From the correlation analysis between the different criteria and decided that on this based on this correlation analysis decided this kind of ranking by performing this ranking process ranking process then we perform the pairwise comparison matrix this is the this is the ideal process of this ahp method for giving the weightage for particular criteria. This is simple way. So you can find the using the published papers that are available now. After performing this pairwise comparison matrix, you can get the weightage, this kind of weightage. You can calculate this one. Particular according to particular criteria, you, you can calculate this one using these tables. This, these are the standard tables. This is standard method for analyzing this kind of uh, pairwise comparison matrix. This is normalized one. Then you can get this one. Just come to the point here. This is this is this is the this is the criteria gives this one weightage influence in the process. And this one the criteria is giving this much influence in the process. It is calculated based on the weightage calculated in the process. So we found out here that all these parameters are ignored in the process of uh, water analysis 
for analyzing the priorities but all parameters does not have equal weightage equally influence in the decision after this decision after calculation of decision we can decide the priorities this one like this one the water set number 1 water set number 2 and like last was 10 ultimately identified according to priorities so that organization may be government authorities may be ngos some social groups may be are working for that they have a facility which water set can be selected for the application of their water set management process according to available their available resources so uh, <clears throat> uh this is this is the way of analysis you see the uh this <coughs> multi criteria analysis multi criteria analysis process based on that influence uh, analysis then finally we reach to this map so this area have uh, has more priority this is moderately moderate priority and this has less priority so so this, this is the final map after so just just see based on this priority analysis uh this environmental problem can be solved this analysis will be helpful for that you see another exercise i would like to show you as we discussed at the beginning uh like uh, groundwater problems there land degradation problems are there so one of the <coughs> uh, problem that is groundwater groundwater uh, scarcity can be solved by the conservation of rainwater that is uh, that is rainwater harvest so we need to find out that which sites are suitable for establishment or constructing the rain rainwater harvesting was where which kind of technique will be applied for example for example <coughs> for example there are check dams farm ponds percolation tanks like this one uh where could be constructed with this question we perform the analysis based on this technique hp technique with this criteria geology of the area land use land cover drainage density these are related to the decision soils slope padad so or not you can find out more uh, criteria also and get to it after this performing the hp we found out this one these are the legend so this this is the area a very good sites these are the areas then this is good moderate and some places have not have potentials but these <coughs> this 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 one uh see here 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 these are the potential sites for constructing the check dams these are farm ponds after performing hp we can come to the decision which land is suitable and which site is suitable for constructing the this kind of <coughs> this kind of uh, structures for groundwater harvest so this analysis will help you uh, help us help organization for constructing the rainfall harvesting uh, structures 
uh, for conservation of water, ultimately soil and forest. And it will help helpful to enrich their livelihood of people in that area, including other life aspect. This is the area. This, this is another um, exercise was performed uh, by a student that is Dr. Zolikar, that is multi criteria land suitability analysis for agriculture, especially in Hilly Zone. Based on this EH pattern. He also uh, put together different criteria: slope, land use, land cover, soil depth, soil texture, soil moisture, soil erosion, soil organic carbon, maximum water holding capacity of soil, pH, and P and K also. We performing AHP with different kind of processes. He has prepared different layers of these, all the criteria with horizontal distribution and put together after the weighted, weighted analysis, ranking and weighted, and weighted analysis. Then we found out this is the path. Which area is suitable for agriculture in hilly zone? So we found out that yellow colored land is more suitable. This view is moderately suitable, red is marginally suitable, and gray land is not suitable for agriculture because this is hilly zone. And white also moderate. So after performing this one, we can solve the environmental problem. Agriculture is also related to the environment. So it is helpful to us if we consider multiple criteria with different techniques, then it, it is possible to make a solution for environment, different environment issues. Uh, okay. Uh, these are the themes, these are the themes which um, um, I just thought to put before you for the your consideration. Then, uh, just I, Put this so my screen I discussed with you, but uh, it was it was very one way traffic, it fully one way. So I like to see your faces, discuss with you. Um, thank you very much. So I think uh, time is. Not much. That is one hour is over, and I would like to discuss with you. Uh, are you hearing me or not? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are hearing. Yeah. Yes, I felt that. Yes, I am speaking. Uh, we have before the <laughs> screen only. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so I would I would like to discuss with you. And these are the things uh, which put for you some uh, if you put some things before us then that will be better to go ahead uh, though uh, for this purpose i just uh, consume one hour and ha this half hour will be for discussion so that would be ratio uh, for my discussion thank you very much uh, I think five to nine. Hello. Yes, sir. So I would like to discuss with you, not not one way only. If you raise some questions and some some themes, then this these discussions will be more fruitful. Otherwise, uh, I don't know uh, what will be happening. <laughs> yeah, I would request the participants to please. Uh put forth your uh, uh, some some core aspect of your research so that sir can suggest you a few aspects of multi criteria analysis you can go ahead with your questions yeah vishay 
योगेश आई थिंक देन सो दिस विल बी फ्रूटफुल मोर फ्रूटफुल देन वन वे स्पीकिंग ओनली sir a uh, very nice presentation uh, i just want to ask some uh, my queries mm-hmm. uh, with your permission mm-hmm. uh, why we are using a uh, 1 to 9 ratio only uh, with the so not answer. necessary not necessary sathe giving 1 to 9 okay uh, <coughs> we can add more also no need uh, to uh, stick for that value no no need it can be extended hello so just see uh, there are there are number of parameters number of criteria influencing the uh, any any situation so we have to sort out them analyze them and found out is there necessary or not for example for example see rainfall is influencing most of the most of the analysis or most of the uh, site suitability analysis but when area is very small if there is no variation in the rainfall then how it will be influencing so we have to remove uh, from the list for example temperature at the state level like regional level temperature vary temperature variation always important but when we are working with a small area then there are no variation in temperature so such type of parameters we have to delete uh, what what we say uh, remove from the list and which parameters are more important we have to add them so not no need of only sticking with the nine parameters nine only or 10 only or eight only we have to find out which are parameters involved in the process and which are which have influence in the process then just put together yes okay thank you sir <clears throat> so and you you are the research students otherwise if you are not uh, talking then hello sir ha uh, hello hello uh, i have one question Uh, the EHP and ranking is a, a two method of uh, multi-criteria decision making. Mm-hmm. So, what is the basic difference between uh, the ranking method and EHP? Mm, ranking, ranking is the part of calculation of weightage. Okay. Uh-huh. Ranking means what? We are just scale out. We are going to scale out the uh, scale out the um, place. For example, there are ten criteria, ten parameters. for 10 criteria we are just focusing on one as a first rank and someone is last one based on this based on this rank we can calculate the weightage weightage is different than the rank because rank is always in the form of 1 2 3 4 yes yeah but weightage is not on the same way thank you yeah then hello <laughs> yes please go ahead with your questions participant yeah yeah this when if, if we discuss here then and then that will be fruitful otherwise these are only discussions <laughs> this is the limitation of online situation uh, sir yeah yeah yes okay. sir uh, yes. sir uh, is it any alternative for uh, this asp method um, uh, alternative method there are uh, any other <laughs> just see every method has uh, their own merits and some demerits also for example for example asp has a one major demerit which one demerit when we deciding the ranks and weightage it it gives the freedom to analyst 
if analyst is not working properly then what will happen result definitely not coming in with a good sense so this is a demerit demerit of this method this is um, all we are calculating all in the mathematical form but when putting this information in the form of uh, ranking then that will be may, that may be biased based on their uh, analyst views so these are this is the demerit because of that because of that we can't say this method is alternative for this one and this this is for this one this is facility but sometimes it makes uh, this uh, this uh, become a demerit so yeah hello which yes, yes sir yes sir i got it सर मैं आए यस यस सर जैसे अपन रैंकिंग यूज करतो समटाइम वी कैन गेट द वेटेज फॉर सिंगल क्राइटेरिया एंड रिजल्ट विल बी डिस्प्लेड ऑन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट क्राइटेरिया बट अकॉर्डिंग टू रैंकिंग वेदर आई चूज अनदर वन क्राइटेरिया फॉर अ प्रायर क्राइटेरिया मतलब दुसरा जर एखादा क्रायटेरिया फर्स्ट मध्ये घेतला तर त्याच्यामध्ये रिझल्ट मध्ये चेंजेस होतात का होणार ना मग तोच तर आपण ही चर्चा हीच केली की ही जी पद्धत आहे ही म्हणजे विश्लेषण करणार अनालिस करणाऱ्याला एक सुविधा देते कशाची सुविधा देते तर त्याला याचं डिसिजन घेता येत पण याच्यामध्ये तोटा हा आहे की जर त्याला चुकीच्या घटकाला पहिला नंबर दिला येस तर निकाल मात्र चुकीचा येईल ना so now how to resolve this problem <laughs> so sometimes we can use the correlation method yes correlation method gives a robotic results yeah but even even we are applying the correlation method there may be some lackness yes so what kind of data we are using there that produce the results yes these are the limitation of this method yes yes i got that thank you sir yes okay yacha madhe kasa hai ki hi method alikade khup vaparli jate hai kara sangaycha madhe khup papers ata yacha varki das there are number of research paper now appear using this method number of research papers and results Uh, just see this which map we are now observing uh, when we observe it observe it then this is glory one when and where whenever we are calculate we, we are not calculating the accuracy of this map sir just a minute kishor kamle sir please mute your sir <coughs> kamle sir याच्यामध्ये एक ध्यान घेतलं घेतलं पाहिजे आपण की नकाशा छान दिसतो आपल्याला रिमोट सेन्सिंग अनालिसिस ऑलवेज ऑलवेज गिव्हिंग गुड मॅप्स ग्लोरी मॅप्स बट बट जस्ट सी मेनी पीपल सेज बिफोर कॅल्क्युलेशन ऑफ अॅक्युरेसी बिफोर सक्सेस ऑफ ऍप्लिकेशन दीज आर ग्लोरियस मॅप्स छान दिसतात मॅप ओनली हे मॅप ओनली छान दिसणारे मॅप म्हणजे निकाल नव्हे आणि म्हणून एस सी द रिझल्ट ऑलवेज डिपेंडंट ऑन द सिलेक्शन ऑफ क्रायटेरिया अँड द रँकिंग ऑफ दॅट क्रायटेरिया विच काइंड ऑफ मेथड यू यूज फॉर सिलेक्शन ऑफ क्रायटेरिया अँड रँकिंग दॅट ऑलवेज रिझल्टिंग द फायनल मॅप affecting the final map apan analysis karta na tyacha madhe konte criteria apan nivadle ani rank kasha dilya yacha varti shevat cha nakasha ani tyachi analysis avlambun hai karan yacha madhe fully freedom 
एनालिस करना लगा एनालिस करना लगा फुल फ्रीडम है एंड क्या फ्रीडम सा जैसा फायदा है तस्सस त्याग ची लिमिटेशन पन है पुड़े कई जगह माला दोन तीन ऐसे नाव आते हैं ऐसे मुझे बाकी ची एक उन्हीं नावों जी तो माला इस तरह से नहीं थे सर ये तो जानो संगन एक छोटा आज माज़ अप्रश्न है मुझे एक आज मिनट सर सर एक आज मिनट सर तुम्ही हे लीव करा जो प्रेजेंटेशन जो करता है ना तो बंद के ना नाम तो मैं नाव दिस तीन सर हाँ मुझे माला बोलता ही लीव करना हाँ ना मतलब ये बाकी चीजों को पाया चाहिए सर सर हाँ जैसे आपन रिजल्ट ये तो ही आता है ये तो तो कि सम समटाइम इट मेक बायस ड्यूरिंग द इनपुटिंग द एंट्रीज या आप जो वेटेज देना रहा आपको क्राइटेरिया में सर जैसे आप लोग करना क्या आप जो एक्सपर्ट के नाते तो करना कई वेस्ट बायस और शुष्क है � रॉंग ये तो शिफ्ट है क्या लगा ये नहीं करते तो पास पर पैक करते हैं चलो एक्यूरेसी एसेसमेंट हास कैसा मार गया एक्यूरेसी एसेसमेंट करना जब चमड़ी एरर है तो आईडेंटिफाई करना अन्य पुनः पहले हम उसको शुरुआत करना जो एरर आईडेंटिफाई करना हास तर मार गया है दर्शन दूसरा क्या मार गया चला हास मार गया है कैसा कहीं ऐसा मदे उपयोग हो तो जितने कोरिलेशंस एनालिसिस से डेटा उपलब्ध है तो जो डेटा अपन गेट ला आने कोरिलेशन आईडेंटिफाई किया तो शायद हर वर्ती जर अपन राइट देंगे ला तर ती वो उस टाइम आजी बोरोबोरो होने की शक्यता है थैंक यू सर प्लीज अजून सर मैं आए हाँ सर हाँ सर माँ सर मैं थोड़ी एक शंका भी चल जैसी भी चल रही थी एक्चुअली कि जैसे अपन डेटा डेटा एंट्री करते हो डेटा एंट्री करते हैं तो ऐसा बाय समझा ऐसा जिस चुकुन के वाम में जैसे आता कि तो चमत्कार समझा डेटा एंट्री ऐसा जिस चुकुन वेग चुकी चीज़ हाली मैं फॉर एग्जांपल समझा एजुकेशन अनेक 300 समझा फीमेल साइड अपने ये मायने की 200 250 मेल साइड 300 फीमेल साइड वो तो डेटा एंट्री करता ना मतलब कुछ इधर का इंटरेस्ट चूक एरर ये उनके वास चूक हो उन आ तेरा 251 मेल जाले और 299 फीमेल जाले एंट्री जाले तो मासा हाथ वगैरह से इधर दिए तो तेरे आशा कंडीशंस में जब अपन काय कर लाहो मत घाटा वर्ती तिकड़े जोड़ी की करना है हाँ सगा बात आए बाजरी पुन नहीं है पुन सरकारी दफ्तर में दे जोड़ी पुन दाखो तब कहीं ठीक है ना आता यार आता यार कुछ ठीक डेटा में दे ये रहना सही जैसे चला रेक्टिफाई करना हाँ मार जासो शक्तो पूर्ण बाहर कस कैसा है ना तो डेटा मुझे पूर्ण डेटा पूर्ण डेटा आप लोग वेरीफाइड करा लगे इतने वाले डेटा बदलो आमी आप लोग ना एनालिसिस करो लक्ष्य जितने की डेटा में तो कुछ डेटा ये रहा है ये रहा करेक्ट 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 तुम्हें एनालिसिस करो गिले नहीं था रिजल्ट आने के लक्ष्य जितने की ये चार कुछ तेरे चुक ले ले अतः एनालिसिस के लिए तो लक्ष्य दिए थे कि ये सुपीरियर है कि बोरो बोरा है कि दूर उसके लिए संदिया है कि नहीं मैं जो जैसा अपन जोड़े के सारण चल रिसर्च में जो अपन पाए थे काजू प्लांटेशन से क्या पता थे नहीं सारण पर नहीं करेक्ट ना कंटेनर ठीक है ना काजू प्लांटेशन हो शक्त नहीं तो तेरे कहने तो वि� वर्षा बाजूला काजू चाहिए 
आपल्याला सगळ्यांना अभ्यास करूनच काहीतरी सापडणार आहे तेवढं रेडीमेड काही उत्तर प्रोडक्ट नसते असण्याची शक्यता नाही आहे म्हणजे माझ्याकडे तर नाही हो अजून हॅलो सर तेवढे सर देवने सर हा सर हा सर इफ वी है ऑफिशियल वोट ऑफ थैंक्स प्लीज यस यस सर आई वुड लाइक टू इफ देयर इज नो एनी क्वेश्चन देन आई प्रोसीड यस सर एक बोलायचं आहे का हा बोलायचं होत पण आता बोला बोला सर बोला काय प्रॉब्लेम नाही बोला ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन नेटवर्क अनालिसिस आपण जेव्हा आपला समजा टॉपिक आहे त्यावरती आपण जे काही कोरिलेशन जे दाखवणार आहोत जे नेटवर्क अनालिसिसच्या संदर्भात जसं रोड ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन रेल्वे ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन एअरपोर्ट ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन याच्यामध्ये काही आपण जे पाठीमाग रँकिंगच्या बाबतीत जे आपण उल्लेख केला होता तर अशी मेथड काय वापरता येईल आपल्याला ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह काय त्याच्यावर त्याच्यावर आहे ना आता असं आहे की उदाहरणार्थ जर तुम्हाला म्हणजे त्या रोड ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन सिस्टीम जे आहे ट्रान्सपोर्ट सिस्टीम आहे आता ही जी मेथड ही प्रामुख्यानं आपल्याला वेगवेगळ्या कारणासाठी वापरता येऊ शकते उदाहरणार्थ जसं आपण प्रायोरिटी अनालिसिस केलं तसं पोटेन्शियल साईट्स अनालिसिस करता येऊ शकतं तसं रोड नेटवर्कमध्ये तुम्हाला प्रायोरिटी अनालिसिस करता येऊ शकतं नेटवर्क प्रायोरिटीज डिसाईड करता येऊ शकतात किंवा ऑब्जेक्टिव्हच्या अनुषंगाने ते ठरवावं लागेल सर मला असं वाटतं आता जिओग्राफिकल अनालिसिस ऑफ ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन नेटवर्क पुणे डिस्ट्रिक्ट असा मी तो टॉपिक चूज केलेला आहे तर त्याच्यामध्ये ते ह्या ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन नेटवर्कचा सोशिओ इकॉनॉमिक इम्पॅक्ट सांगितलेला आहे सर ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह इम्पॅक्ट अनालिसिस केले तुम्ही इम्पॅक्ट अनालिसिस याच्या आधारे करता येऊ शकता सर इम्पॅक्ट अनालिसिस करता येऊ शकतं जर आयडेंटीफाय केले पॅरामीटर आयडेंटीफाय केले त्याचे आणि त्याच जर आपण अनालिसिस केलं तर रोडचा कोणत्या क्षेत्रावरती परिणाम झाला हे काढता येऊ शकत yes. म्हणजे कोणत्या एरियावरती म्हणजे आपल्याला एरियल स्पेस त्याच्यातली जी आहे ना ती आयडेंटीफाय करता येऊ साईट्स इम्पॅक्ट साईट्स अनालिसिस करता येऊ शकतं आपल्याला okay. म्हणजे रोड इम्पॅक्ट साईट असं आपण डायरेक्टली करू शकतो याच्यामध्ये आपण कोरिलेशन दाखवू शकतो ना म्हणजे जसं की ऍक्सेसिबिलिटी कोरिलेशन काढू शकतो आपण पण डेटा काय घेतला आणि डेटा मिळाला काय त्याच्यावरती अवलंबून आहे करू शकतो आपण त्याचा ओके ओके थँक्यू सर याच्यानंतरही आपण बोललो तरी चालू शकतो असं काही नाही बरं का म्हणजे मला दोन मिनिट ओनली टू मिनिट्स अगेन आय एम थँकफुल टू प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ द कॉलेज हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट प्रोफेसर सुनील गायकवाड सर हु वॉज माय टीचर माय फ्रेंड प्रोफेसर मनोज कुमार देवणे डॉक्टर डवळे फॉर गिव्हिंग मी दिस ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टू डिस्कस विथ मी विथ यू विच आय हॅव बेसिकली दिस इज द वे ऑफ लर्निंग आय कॅन्ट से दिस इज द एम दिस इज द वे ऑफ लर्निंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप डे बाय डे may i acquire acquiring some knowledge some experiences on this journey this is this is a bench bench mark we can milestone we can say we can say this is the milestone uh for for this milestone you people gives me this opportunity so thank 
thank you for this purpose uh, again thank you all all you also who participated in the discussion uh, all the data which i have been presented before you that is available on the net and network and uh, uh, again i i should not say this is the end this is the final one always this is uh, revisable because we are geographer we, we are belong to the science so always scientific thinking scientific presentations always open to corrections if somebody uh, inform me corrections in this uh, what kind of analysis i presented before you that will be always uh, welcome uh, so i request you to uh, give some suggestions whatever you have uh, thank you very very much again thank you please thank you sir thank you very much uh, for your knowledgeable uh, information and sharing with us uh, you have explained us with multi criteria geospatial analysis uh, of the environmental issue and uh, in which you have focused uh, uh, with the environmental concept like drought uh, flood pollution resources and uh, water and forest etc uh, also uh, we have uh, uh, you have uh, positively discussed with us and uh, you have given your uh, uh, valuable time with us so thank you very much i am also thankful uh, dr devnesh sir and uh, coordinator of our course work and uh, co coordinator dr dhole sir uh, that they have arranged such knowledgeable person with us and uh, they give us uh, opportunity to uh, interaction with them uh, and i am also uh, grateful to all participants who have uh, actively interact and participate uh, uh, to this course work uh, thank you thank you very much